We have socks now. That was probably a weird opening because this is a book haul where I'm supposed to talk about books, but I just wanted to share that we have really cool socks with cats and books on them. I'm sorry I didn't open this month with a song. I hope you can forgive me. I will be back next month with a sick track that'll be lip syncing to, I think. But hey, my name is Michael from Team Epic Reads and this is the long intro to the September book haul. Oh my God, I didn't remember it was September until I said that just now. Don't love that for me. Um, so summer's over, but that doesn't mean reading is over because that wouldn't make any sense. We have a lot of books to talk about today. It's a really tall stack. It's kind of intimidating, but I'm ready to get through it. And as always, I'm gonna start off this video by talking about the Year of Epic Reads Reading Challenge. As you guys all know, more info will be linked in the description down below, but the Year of Epic Reads Reading Challenge is a challenge that happens on a Facebook group where every month, week, and quarter, there's a new challenge for you to read whatever book you like that fits the challenge and talk about it with other book nerds. Love that for us as a community. And the reading challenge this month is Dark and Dazzling. So the book that I'm gonna be talking about for this theme is also a book that comes out this month, and yes, I will talk about it again later in this book haul, and that is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. As you can see, I'm just seeing the light reflect off this in the screen, and it's, wow. That's it, that's the video. What else can I say? Just kidding. This is an enemies to lovers romance set in a 17th century inspired French-like world where a witch and a witch hunter are forced into matrimony to love, honor, and burn. She a thick book, but she is fantastic. Like it doesn't feel like a big book. It goes by so fast and it's full of twists and turns and magic and my like new favorite heroine ever. And I'm gonna talk about this more again later, but yeah, this is the book for the monthly reading challenge. Click down below. So now I'm gonna talk about some of the books we have coming out this month. And the first that I'm gonna talk about is just this little book called Five Dark Fates by Kendara Blake. This is the epic conclusion to the Three Dark Crown series. It's the fourth book and it's the official end of our time on Fenburn Island and that little bit of time that we weren't on Fenburn Island, we were on the mainland. And I don't know if I'm emotionally ready for this. We have been through so much. These three sisters, Mirabella, Arsenault, and Katerine, when they turned 16, they were supposed to kill each other and we're four books in now. A lot has happened between them. Jules was thrown in the mix as uh, spoilers, so I'm not gonna say anything, but this series has been so epic from the magic to the betrayals to the romance that I didn't think I was gonna ship and then I was like trash for. Love it, love it for everyone. I need to stop saying that this video, but I'm just really excited for this. I, black and gold is it. That's the, that's the theme of the season, essentially. I'm excited for this book. So the next book I have here is Serpent and Dove by Shelby Mahurin. This I talked about like a minute ago, Power of Editing, and it follows the main character whose name is Lou, who is a witch escaping and hiding from her coven in the city where witches are forbidden. And in the city, there are soldiers called chasseurs who kill witches, their vow is to not let witches live, and she, as a witch in hiding, ends up married to one of these witch hunters. And so she's in a little bit of a difficult situation. And it's just this epic enemies to lovers romance with so much magic and twists and turns. And I adore this book. And I'm just gonna shine it at you a little bit before I move on to the next one. Okay. Then we have Kingdom of Souls by Raina Barron. Again, black and gold is the theme of this fall, y'all. So, this follows a girl named Arya who herself has not had magic powers and her mom isn't happy with her for it because her mom's like really into having powers and being powerful and magic and this girl's like, I'm sorry, I want them but I don't have them. And then there's one thing she's not been willing to do so far to get them until the children of the kingdom that she lives in start to go missing. And so she finally gives up years of her life to get magic powers to figure out what's happening here. And in the process of figuring out what's happening, she realizes that the demon king is stirring and that could mean the end and very bad things for them all. And so Arya has to figure out how far she's willing to go to save everyone. Another epic fantasy start. Oh my God, who gave you the right to be so beautiful? What? We have A Treason of Thorns by Laura E. Weymouth, and this is a fantasy magical book set in England where this girl has been in exile for six years. She used to be 
really important in one of the six magical houses of England. And England is split into these magical houses where these families sort of live there and help keep the land and castle in check and such. And so when her dad committed high treason, they were kicked out. They didn't want them there anymore. And so in the six years that they've been away from this house that they inhabited, the house and the magic have gone dark and have started seeching into the land. And so this girl has to go back to the house and save it and the land and everyone from this magic that has turned bad and is ruining things. So it's just as beautiful as the cover, I promise. The next book I have here is Unpregnant by Jenny Hendrix and Ted Kaplan. And this is a book about a girl who doesn't know how she ended up pregnant. She's been very safe. She thinks her boyfriend might have done something to make this happen, and she is going on a road trip to get an abortion. But the closest place she can legally get that done is 900 miles away, and that is a 14-hour drive and a journey she does not want to go on alone. And so she ends up having her ex-best friend tag along to go on this wild road trip journey where she learns that the road to adulthood is not an easy one, and learning to grow and make it through things, it's, it's an epic time. It's an emotional time. The next book I have here is Butterfly Yellow, and this is a very, very emotional read about a girl named Hong who, in the final days of the Vietnam War, is able to get her brother Lin out of the country, and he ends up in Texas in America. And then six years later, and after a very harrowing journey to make it to America, Hong is able to reunite with her younger brother, but so much time has passed for him, and he was so young when it all happened that he doesn't remember her, and to him, he's, she's just a stranger who is seems like an outsider, and it's just their journey of reconnecting, and whew, emotions. This is such, such a powerful story. And then I have When She Reigns by Jodi Meadows, and this is the third and final book in the Fallen Isles trilogy. And this has been such an epic fantasy series that follows a girl named Mira who has been through a lot. And at this point in the series, the great abandonment has begun and it's, it's a dangerous time. There's a lot of destruction and Mira is having these dreams that she knows how to make it all stop. And she has to find the bones of the first dragon, which takes her on this very, very dangerous journey. And she might have to end up sacrificing more than she is willing to save everyone. And again, epic dragon fantasy. This is the final books so you can binge this amazing trilogy. And the next book I have here is Verify by Dwell Charbonneau. And this has a really, really awesome cover. I want you guys to like see all the different aspects too. And this is set in a world where everything that is said is the truth. Like. You, you believe everything people say because they don't know about lies and facts and anything. But when this girl's mom is killed, she starts having questions and looking into what's happening here. And she uncovers this secret underground society where people are keeping facts. And it's this very dangerous realization for her that the government doesn't want her to know and puts her life at risk. And so it's a really, really intriguing concept. And the next book I have here is Suggested Reading by Dave Connes. I really like the concept of this cover. Like it's a book on the book. And it's like the back to the back of the book on the book. You understand what's happening here. And this is a book about a girl who goes to the school where a lot of books are banned. And these books are books that were influential and important to her and she learned a lot from. And she doesn't think it's cool that they're not allowed there. And so she creates this underground library, this unlib, where they keep all of these books that aren't allowed at the school. But then when something tragic happens related to one of the books that she sort of is keeping in the school, she has to ask herself if she is at fault in any way for what has happened and if the cause she's fighting is as noble as she thinks it is. And it's like a, like this is, this is book nerd. This is what we're here for. Does that make sense? And the next book I have here is The Survivalist by Courtney Scheinmel. And this is a book about a girl who is devastated by the suicide of her older sister. And she doesn't understand why it happened. And all that's left behind for her to try and figure it out are a puzzle, a list of names and places, and a phone number to a guy in California named Adam who claims he did not know her older sister. And so she heads out to California to sort of piece together the clues of what might have happened to her older sister and what has been going on with her, and it's another super, super emotional, touching read. And then the final book we have coming out that I'm gonna tell you guys about is Cracking the Bell by George Herbach. And this is a book about a football player who football is sort of everything to him. After his older sister died, 
it gave him structure and purpose and sort of kept him on track and gave him something to do. But then when he suffers a concussion, he has to take a look at his life and figure out where he'd be without football and if he could if he could get back on track without football. And it's an introspective journey about like who he is and his family and friends and figuring out if he can live without this piece of him that saved him from a really dark time. And then we have a few books from other publishers that I want to tell you guys about. So I'm going to jump into those. And the first one is, boom, boom. There's a lot of folds here. Frankly in Love by David Yoon, who is the husband to Nicola Yoon, and this is his YA contemporary romance debut about a guy named Frank Lee who is in love. Bing. And then I'm also gonna talk about Capturing the Devil by Carrie Maniscalco, which is the fourth book, I believe, in a series of books by this author about women trying to solve and capture criminal murderers. Um, I'm not sure if this one's actually about the devil, but if it is the case, I don't think she should go after him. That just doesn't seem like it ends well for anybody. But yes, this is another exciting thriller. So thank you guys so much for watching. My name is Michael Bookline. That's the September book haul. There are a lot of exciting books coming out this month. And before I go, please enjoy this slow-mo of me throwing our new socks in the air. Very casually. This is a glass room, by the way. Keep that in mind when you watch this. That's it.